Welcome to Sports Videos. My name is Douglas Barreto and today I'm going to show you how to create and reset data sets with Test Data Warehouse. In this scenario, we have a single table and we are going to create a data set from it. After that, we're going to reset the data into the source table from the created data set. For this, we're going to use Test Data Warehouse. Just an overview in the scenario, we have a source table. We're going to subset the data into a data mart in Test Data Warehouse, creating a data set. And after that, we're going to reset the table to the original table. Uh, this is interesting when you have several instances, let's say for testing, and you want to reset all of them and from a single data set. You can do that with, with Test Data Warehouse. Here in my TDM workbench, I have created the project like any other subset project, imported the table, then I defined a group with the table, could be an entity, uh, then I created a plan, like a subset plan. The only difference is the target connection. So in plan settings, instead of using a relational connection, I use a test data mart connection. And using my data mart, give, uh, I gave a name to the data set, and that's it. Then I executed and created a workflow and then executed the workflow. So I have my data set created in here. So I can see the table. I can see the metadata of the table. Okay. And I I'll, I'll already have the, the data loaded in this data set. Now, if I want to reset, the table I just need to click reset. Let me change the data. Just make sure we are changing to the original values. So in my source table, I have inserted one record more. So we have a different data set now. We have three three records. So back to the to the data sets, I click in actions and reset and choose my relational connection. It's going to be my own source. And I can choose, uh, I'm going to truncate the table. So uh, you can either choose to truncate the tables or, or uh, reset the data uh, with the data that is in, in, the in the source now. But I'm going to choose the truncate. Then after, Click next, uh, next, choose the integration service and click finish. At this moment, it, it's going to, this job is going to generate the workflow as well as execute the workflow. So the data is gonna be uh, reset to the original da data source. So going to the monitor, you're gonna see only one job ID, the one that created when you click reset, when you created the reset. Uh, it does both uh, generate the workflow and execute the workflow. So when it succeeded, uh, it, you can see that uh, the data is back to the original values. So our table is reset. So it's possible to create data sets in a data mart with test date warehouse. Uh, test data can be reset directly from the data set to target tables. Test data can be reset to different target instance. Uh, any questions, comments, feedback, please contact us. Thank you.